Yo, this week is surprisingly light, though if you're looking for some heat, you're gonna be all right. We got UA Jordan, Nike trying to flex. They call me Jock Slade, and this is the heat check. What a family, let's get this show started and kick things off with one of my favorite shoes this year, the Nike KD9. These pairs happen to be a grade school exclusive and tossed in two different shoes for what is being called the Fire Pack. One pair is blue and the other is red. Those will cost you $125. If you want the opposite of fire, which I'm going to assume is water, the Kyrie 2 Wet is what you need. Like the KD9, these are grade school offerings and you can grab a pair over at Finish Line starting tomorrow for $100. If you're more of a Reebok kind of person, the question is dropping in the black braid colorway. As the name implies, they are inspired by I Iverson's braids, which created this unique look. They look pretty dope. Pricing is $160. New England fans get a little extra love this week with a special Air Force One for none other than Robert Kraft. The pair is called Patriots for obvious reasons and will cost you $150. One of the sleepers of this weekend is the Nike SB Dunk High Red Velvet. Just as the name implies, the upper is red velvet, which I think looks pretty dope. These drop on Friday for $110. The next two pairs on the list actually dropped in limited form over the last few months, but they are now finally getting a more general release, I guess. The Nike Flyknit Racer in blue and a pair in olive. The olive looks more pure platinum than olive, to be honest, and the blue pairs look very similar to that limited pair that dropped overseas. Both pairs will cost you $150 over at Finish Line on Friday. High fashion is really starting to merge with the sneaker world, and this week we get to see that in a way that we haven't seen before with John Elliott in the LeBron Soldier 10. The unexpected collab sees the fashion designer work his magic on the performance shoe, and you can grab those for $200 in a very limited supply. Speaking of performance, Under Armour is releasing the Curry 3 in what they are calling the Grey Matter. The upper of the shoe is technically steel aluminum, but for the most of us, we'll just call it grey. Complete with antifoam on the upper, these will cost you $140. For those with the taste for premium kicks, the brightest Air Jordan 12 we have seen in recent memory is dropping on Saturday. Now it's game royal. The upper of the shoe is dressed in premium suede and leather and rocks a monotone upper that should definitely turn some heads. For those looking to grab a pair of these, they're going to cost you $190 over at Finish Line on Saturday. Saturday. So really, it isn't a crazy week for sneakers, but it's definitely packed with some heat. Be sure to check below for links to all the shoes that I talked about in this video today, and be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up. What up? Click a video. Or maybe subscribe. Pick a video. Or subscribe. All right, y'all. Peace.